In these problems, we're being asked to find the standard deviation, either the sample standard deviation or the population standard deviation uh, for a group of data, for a data set. And if you saw the video on variance, you're ready to do this. It's not going to be too hard at all. If you didn't see the, the video on variance, you may want to go back and look at it. Uh, just to remind you what we were doing with variance, which was a measure of how far apart data points are from each other in a set, is we took each data point and we subtracted the mean from it, and then we squared that value. And then we added all of those together. That's what this big uh, character here means. And then for the sample variance, we divided that by the number of data points minus 1, n minus 1. And for the population variance, we just divided by n. That was the only difference between the two. And that gave us this number, either s squared for sample variance or sigma squared for population variance, uh, to tell us uh, some idea of how far apart numbers are from that middle. Standard deviation is just another variety of that type of measurement. It tells us how far apart numbers are from the, the center of the, the data. And the only difference, you may be able to see this already, this formula in here should look very familiar. This whole chunk underneath the radical sign is the formula for sample variance. To get the standard deviation, all you do is take the square root of that. So to find standard deviation, you just find the variance, and the steps are the same as we were using last time, those steps, and then just take the square root. We've got a couple of problems here. Um, we want to find the sample standard deviation of this data set. And let's see, there are nine pieces of data there. And this one, the, the uh, sample or the population standard deviation sigma, and there are nine uh, pieces of data. Is that nine? Yeah, nine pieces of data there. Uh, so we're going to follow this procedure. Since I set up a spreadsheet already to figure out the variance uh, of a set of data, I thought I would just use that same thing. And I've gone ahead and plugged this data into those spots. So let's take a look at what we have there. So here's our spreadsheet. And you saw in the previous video, um, this column was all our data. So I plugged in the new data for our problems. And then we were uh, calculating the mean here. So that's the mean of that data, because we have to subtract the mean from each point. In this column, what we're doing is, is that action. We're subtracting the mean from each data point and then squaring it. So that's the case for all, all of the numbers in this column. And then at the bottom, we summed that. We, we added all those numbers together. So we did that. And then we divided by, in the case of this sample variance, divided by n minus 1. So there are nine data points, so we divided by 8. And then in that last video, we also double-checked our work with the built-in function. There's a built-in function for sample variance. And so we applied that to the data and it comes out the same, 52 when we sort of did it this manual way and 52 when we had the computer to do it. So the last step here to figure out standard deviation is just to take the square root of that number. And the function here in Google Sheets is SQRT. I'll refer to that cell and there we go. So we've got 7.2, et cetera. You might have guessed that we can also double check our work with standard deviation. There's a formula built in here too. So let's look for that. We want sample standard deviation. There we go, standard deviation of a sample. And then we'll, we'll select over our whole data set here and see what we get. Yeah, and the numbers match 7.2 and, and change. Let's look on our, our problem and see if that we're, we've got an answer like that. Ah, uh, yeah, B, 7.21. So that's our sample standard deviation for this data set. Let's try the population standard deviation problem. This is going to be almost the same. And I've set it up here again. So we've got that data here. I type that in. And then we calculated the mean there. And then, whoops. And then here, we're subtracting the mean from each of these. And... Uh, and, and, and squaring that. And then here we're adding all of that together. And then finally, we're dividing by nine, because in, in the case of the population standard deviation or variance, we're dividing by n, not n minus one. And so we got this 35.11. It agrees with the computer uh, calculated variance, so we know we're on the right track there. So all we have to do now is take the square root of this to get the standard deviation. Do that. We're getting 5.93, I guess, if you're rounding to the nearest hundredth. Let's see if we get uh, a similar result from the, the computer. 
So standard deviation, now we want population. So I'll choose this one and refer to the whole data set. And there we go, we got the exact same thing. So looks like our work checks out. So if there's a 5.93 on here, yeah, B, 5.93. So that is how to take the standard devi deviation. If you know how to take the variance, just take the square root.